You will need to remove the front bumper in wheel well liners to do this work. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. With the bumper removed, you should have easy access to both the front right and left radiators. Begin by removing the large rubber air funnel that is located in front of each radiator. It is held on with five screws, lower left. Then cut a slit in the lower radiator hose on the 996 only and allow the coolant out of the radiator and hoses. Detach the air conditioning condenser from the front by removing the two bolts, green arrows, and sliding it out of its mounting tab, red arrow. Using a zip tie, secure the air conditioning condenser to the chassis. This is to assure that the condenser pipes do not become damaged while you're working on the radiator. Upper left insert. The lower left insert photo shows the rubber air funnel from the right side of the car. The temperature sensor boot must carefully be threaded out of this boot upon removal. On the 997, the air conditioning condenser is mounted to the front of the radiator by one bolt on the outside, red arrow, and by two clips that sit on the inside, blue arrows and insert upper right. Remove the bolt and slip the condenser from the clips. The yellow arrow shows how debris can build up inside the air ducts. This radiator is from a one-year-old Southern California car. If you live in an area that sees four seasons, you should check your ducts at least once a year. The lower left insert shows the torque bolt that holds the fan shroud onto the back of the radiator, green arrow. This photo shows the backside of a 996 radiator and fan assembly with the inner fender liners removed. In order to remove the radiator and fan assembly, you need to disconnect the small radiator vent hose as indicated by the red arrow. I recommend replacing this hose during this procedure so you might save some time and effort by just clipping it off. Unclip the vent hose from the radiator bracket, blue arrows. The green arrow shows the upper radiator hose. Again, I recommend just cutting it since you will be replacing it anyways. Sometimes it can be nearly impossible to remove the hose from the radiator and you will need to cut it off to remove it. Insert photo. If you decide not to remove the front bumper cover, then you will need to remove the fender brace, white arrow, and detach the headlamp vent hose as well. This photo shows the backside of a 997 radiator and fan assembly with the inner fender liners removed. In order to remove the radiator and fan assembly, you'd need to disconnect the radiator vent line, blue arrow. The 997s use quick disconnects on the radiator lines. Even if you're going to be replacing the radiator hoses, do not cut the lines. The vent line is a simple push in, pull out, and the water hoses use quick disconnect clips, yellow arrow. After disconnecting the hoses, remove the torque bolt, green arrow, that holds the fan shroud on, and then the two smaller bolts that hold the radiator, red arrow. Move underneath the radiator and remove the two clips, insert purple arrows. The yellow arrow shows the electrical connection to the fan that must be disconnected. Pull out the resistor pack from its bracket and loosen the wiring harness. Disconnect the rear radiator air grill from the metal radiator bracket, red arrow. Finally, disconnect the bracket from the chassis by removing the nuts that hold it in place, blue arrow. Here is a shot of the radiator area after the radiator has been removed. The radiator-like unit on the left is the air conditioning condenser. Shown on the left is a brand new replacement radiator. If you are merely replacing the radiator fan and are reinstalling the old radiator, be sure to blow out any dirt and debris with some compressed air from your radiator. The fan assembly is clipped to the rear of the radiator using metal snap clips, insert photo. Remove these snaps and the fan assembly should lift right off. The fan is attached to the fan housing via three mounting screws located on the back side. A new fan is shown in the lower right. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.